Hi right, y'all, so today I'm going to be bringing you breakfast croissants. So pretty similar with what we did last year, last week with the croissant burgers. We have a pound of ground breakfast sausage. We got five russet potatoes. We got some eggs. We got some blended cheese. And we have some crescent rolls. We got four tubes here that should make eight of these breakfast croissants. So first thing is we are going to start with our potatoes. We're going to make some hash browns. Hi right, y'all. So we've already gone ahead and washed all our potatoes. And now we're just going to simply... Doesn't matter what size of cuts they are. They just got to fit into our salad shooter. If you're making hash browns by hand or even if you got uh, pre-made hash browns. Yeah, you can do it how you have to do it. But we have a salad shooter, so we just gotta make them the right size to fit into there. All right, so now that we just about have our potatoes done, we're gonna go ahead and clear the cutting board, bring over our cast iron skillet, and uh, get our salad shooter, and we'll bring you back. All right, y'all, so we have our 12-inch cast iron skillet. We're just gonna take about quarter a cup of oil get that coat the bottom all right so for our salad shooter we have the grater attachment now again you could use uh, pre-made if you want you can make them by hand however you do your hash browns normally just go ahead and do them that way but uh for this we just Now we just gotta do all our potato like that, and uh, we'll bring you back. All right, y'all, so we have our potatoes shredded. Now we're just gonna go ahead and move that over to our stove top, put this on a medium to medium high heat. Um, we'll stir this occasionally so the bottoms don't burn, because it is cast iron, and that's gonna get our bottoms really crisp. We just don't wanna get them too crisp. And then while that's cooking, we're gonna start on our sausage. All right, y'all, so we have our sausage over on another burner. We have our hash browns cooking back there. We got this on a high heat. We're just gonna go ahead and brown this up. But while this is starting to cook, we're gonna multitask here. We got the hash browns going, we got the sausage going. Now we're gonna get up our eggs. All right, y'all, so we have six eggs. We're just gonna crack them all into a I'm using a little liquid measuring cup for easy pouring. You can use a bowl, whatever. We're gonna crack all six eggs up and then we're just gonna whisk them up, make them scrambled style. And then once we have them whisked up, we are just gonna sit them off to the side. So uh, I'm gonna do that off camera and then we'll bring you back. All right, y'all, so our sausage is pretty well browned up. We're just gonna go ahead and dump in our egg mixture. And then and I always cook, whether I'm doing breakfast burritos or anything like that, I always cook my eggs with my ground sausage because it just gives that egg a little more flavor from the, uh, from the grease that comes off the sausage. And then once these are cooked, the scrambled eggs are done, we're just gonna remove this off to the heat and put it on the side and wait till our hash browns are done cooking. So we'll bring you back. All right, y'all, we have our hash browns crispified. Now, all we gotta do is start assemblage of our breakfast croissants. So let's go back over to the counter. So we have popped out one of our croissant tubes. We're just gonna go ahead and split it in half, set one of the halves to the side. Then we wanna find out where it starts. And we're just gonna very carefully unroll it. And then we're gonna get to the edge right there, take it apart. And then again, just unroll it, 
set it aside. And now we just want to join all these seams together. So the two seams on the triangles make it all one rectangle. And then we're also going to join both of these together. Like so. Get all those edges joined together. We're just going to go ahead, take a little dab of our hash browns. Make a not the biggest base of hash brown. And then we're just going to take some of our sausage and egg mixture. Alright, so now that we have our egg mixture on there, we got one last step. And that is just to sprinkle on a light amount of cheese. Once we get our cheese all sprinkled on, all we're going to go ahead and do is wrap this up like a Christmas gift. and try to pinch all your edges together. If you pack it too full and you don't get it all together, get as close as you can. Now what we're gonna do is we have a lightly greased cookie sheet. We're gonna transfer this over to that and we're gonna put this top side down on the bottom of our cookie sheet. So I'm gonna do all mine and I'll bring you back. All right y'all, so we're gonna, we've got all of our croissants spreaded up. Now we got two more eggs. We're just going to crack these into a bowl. Take a fork, whisk these up real quick. Just a quick whisk, nothing too serious. Just set this over to the side. Bring our croissants back into play. Now, you, I did overfill a few of mine so the seams didn't stick together the best. Now, the reason we put the top side up when we prepare on the bottom is because we want the bulk of our seams on the bottom. And if you have the same amount of seams, put the best looking seams on the top. That's whether you're doing, it doesn't matter what you're doing with bread or pastries when you're filling them like this always put your best seams up top or if you have a side with no seams put that up top yeah. now we're going to bring our egg back and if you have a brush use a brush i don't have a brush i'm just going to use a paper towel and we're just going to do a good egg wash on top of all of our croissants this egg wash will give us that golden brown look that you want to see. This is where that golden brown look comes from. So we're about to our last one, and we've gone ahead and preheated our oven to 350 degrees. And we're going to cook these for, you know, 20 to 30 minutes or until golden brown, because all the internals except the cheese are already cooked. So we're just going to cook this 25, 30 minutes to 350 in the oven until they are golden brown. At that point, we'll bring you back. All right, y'all. Ours did 25 minutes. They're all nice and golden brown, and uh, we had some cheese leakage on some places, some seams come open, but you know that's alright because it's going to taste the same, which is just amazing. But anyways, we're going to go ahead, plate these up, 
But first, I would like to thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, or, you know, click the uh, profile picture on your screen right now. That is the subscribe button. Also, if you want to see our last video, go ahead, click that box right over here. So, until next time, keep on cooking on.